What's up? How are you guys today? For this day of eating, I'm gonna show you guys the prep side, more of like a grocery haul, everything that goes into the meal as opposed to me just uh, sitting down and stuffing my face and complaining how much my liver hurts. So for breakfast, I've been doing the collagen pancakes that you guys saw in the previous day of eating. Those are gonna be fried in some organic coconut oil, refined, because I don't like the coconut flavor. Uh, we put a little bit of Frankie's sea salt in there. That's the salt. And the actual pancake is composed of uh, Birch Benders organic classic pancake mix, 50% of that, so half of it, and then half of organic quick oats. And I also put a little bit of vanilla powder in there. So the reason we use half oats and half pancake mix is just to add more soluble fiber, mainly for liver detox. And it honestly doesn't really taste that much different because just the, the white flour pancake on its own can be kind of dense. So to that, we add some glass bottle of mineral water, about half water and then half of our uh, collagen broth. So that's the, the protein source for breakfast is, you know, a few tablespoons of collagen that are just mixed into the pancakes. So great source of amino acids, very approachable, plain flavor. Uh, all the pancake ingredients are available on the foods website, but this is available on the meat website, frankiesfruitagemeat.com. So with the pancakes, I always have just organic maple syrup. And then the rest of the meal is just going to be some organic Honeycrisp apples. Supplement wise, I always take the same stuff. So we have zinc, molybdenum, vitamin B1, magnesium, and also uh, some mastic gum. So this is everything I take to keep my gut in check and balance out the copper toxicity. It's been working very well over these uh, past few months so far. We'll definitely do some blood work soon. Uh, depending on how I feel, sometimes I'll have water kefir and water kefir grains. Sometimes I don't. And then at the end of the meal, I'll have some more mastic gum powder, which is ground up. And then usually one or two activated charcoal. Uh, depending on how I'm feeling for the day, uh, I will usually take the glandulars. Uh, these are on organsupplements.com as well as those other supplements. We got the male virility for testosterone. This is the third eye for brain function. And uh, sometimes I'll take the thyroid and adrenal. Yesterday, I actually had some uh, brains for breakfast. Uh, so these are just some, some local beef brains. Uh, sometimes I'll have the veal brains too. Uh, if you guys want to get put on like a fresh brain list, we're only getting like one or two a week. So I'm not sure if it's kind of feasible. Uh, so maybe I'll talk about that in the next uh the next meat vlog and one interesting thing about the brains is that you know i lost my sense of taste since i've been sick last week and it could be a coincidence it might not be but after i had that brain for breakfast a few hours later i was able to taste my lunch so is it you know was it also because i went outside and got some sun for an hour or two I, I genuinely don't know. So I, I would like to see if other people have lost their sense of taste, have some omega-3, like get some high quality fish or, or have some animal brains because it might be the omega-3. There might be some, uh, you know, bioidentical tissue in the brain that helped restore the, I, I, I can't say for certain. All I know is that after I had that brain yesterday, I was then able to taste food again. So it's, it's very possible. Omega-3 is a pretty common deficiency that people can typically have. Uh, that is often overlooked. Uh, but yeah, let me know if you guys have any experiences with that. Uh, that's everything for breakfast. So if you guys are trying to get any of this stuff, I mentioned the websites, everything you can see on frank com. Always wearing my also Wi-Fi shielding hat too. We got the clothing on underneath, all that stuff. Protecting myself from radiation, even in the middle of the woods. But uh, yeah, I got to go do some work, but we'll be back for lunch. Just got back from work and I kind of just want to eat something and uh, pass out and take a nap. So we'll show you guys real quick what I'm having and also just a few other things I've had for lunch the past few days. So the main starch source is going to be tortillas. These are made with uh, organic white corn flour. I'm going to try to get this on the foods website. Uh, right now my current distributor doesn't have it. Uh, before I was using the white corn flour, I was making the tortillas from the organic wheat flour that we have on Frankie's Free Range Food. So whether you use wheat flour, white corn flour, doesn't matter. Also, you could do like a little sourdough in the tortilla dough if you want. That's what I was doing with the wheat. So for protein, we have a porterhouse steak from Frankie's Free Range Meat. These are the 
uh, local fresh steaks we're getting in from the farm every week. So if you go under the porterhouse section or the bone and ribeye section, this is what you're getting. Probably gonna put a little bit of steak sauce on that steak. The tortillas are gonna be dipped in our white bean puree, uh, which looks a little darker than usual because the this is made with demi-gloss. So we got the organic demi-gloss, which is basically like a really concentrated beef paste uh, that's on Frankie's strange meat as well. And that's just blended up with some of the organic artichoke spread and some of the organic cannellini beans. Both of these are on the Frankie's strange foods website. And I did want to show you guys, we made a new batch of uh, Vichy Swa. This is what I was having for lunch the past few days. So if you guys are unfamiliar with Vichy Swa, it's a French soup made from potatoes and leek. So it's an excellent, healthy uh, carb source side dish. This is what I do. Uh, like I was having this when I was sick. If I don't feel like having the white bean puree, and uh, calling this a soup is kind of discrediting it because you could probably dilute this by like double and still have a thicker soup than you would get in the supermarket. Look at the look at the texture of that. It's you know it's pure mashed potato pureed leeks and collagen broth. It is basically like a, it's basically solid. And if you were to to heat this up and warm this up into a soup. It's so thick and voluminous, and there's no there's no cream, there's no butter, there's no thickening agent added to this. So to be able to buy this quality and density of nutrition for only uh, twelve dollars on the website, guys, this is this is a really really special product. I'll I'll say it again. You could, you know, put this in like two parts water and a little salt in there, and it'll still be absolutely delicious. So this this would go a really long way. And if you're eating it like this. By the jar, which I do for lunch, it's a super, super concentrated source of nutrition. So uh, sometimes I'll have this with like steak and rice, uh, this because this has a decent amount of fiber in it. Uh, today we're just going to do the tortillas with the steak and then the white bean puree on the side because I've been eating this for the past uh, few days for for lunch now. It's a little dense. Uh, what I actually like doing sometimes is I have the tortillas with this instead of the white bean puree. And the rest of the meal is the same as breakfast, just some apples for dessert. We're going to have zinc, molybdenum, mastic, and B1 as a supplement, and then just some more mastic and charcoal after lunch. There's lunch, guys. White corn tortillas, white bean puree, warehouse oil trimmed up with some steak sauce. All right, guys, it's a little late, around 3 a.m. My schedule is messed up as usual. So we're just going to show you the ingredients for the udon noodles. Got my mineral water boiling there with some sea salt and coconut oil. We got the organic udon noodles, frankiesyringefoods.com. These are made with a special type of wheat that I can actually tolerate. Uh, we're going to take some of the grass-fed roast beef from the meat website and just trim the edges off, slice it up real nice, and just have some like thin pieces of beef in the udon noodles. And then the base of that sauce is the white bean puree earlier we showed you guys, which is just the cannellini beans that's pureed with the demi-gloss and we're going to put a few tablespoons of the beef stock concentrate in there you can see this is a a little darker compared to the collagen broth slightly higher in b vitamins a little more flavor more meat forward i forgot to bring home more zinc so we're just doing some masticum and b1 as the supplements for dinner with some more mastic and charcoal at the end of the meal that's dinner guys a big bowl of udon noodles Show you supplements, some apples again as well. So pretty consistent. If you guys want to see me eat these meals and talk more about them, we've covered all of them in my recent day of eatings. But if you guys want to try any of this stuff and support me, you can go to frank safaricom where you will see all of the businesses, meat, food, supplements, Wi-Fi shielding, naturals, and uh, check it out. All the affordable, interesting, unique health products. But outside of that, as always, guys, thank you for joining me. Make sure to drop a like, leave a comment down below. Make sure to subscribe and check that notification bell. And I'll see you guys for the next video. I might post the uh, next restaurant vlog on Sunday.